18 team premiership. So you may be wondering why I've chosen this topic. The reason why I've chosen this topic over other ones is because of this Martindale interview which has caused a storm on Twitter which was already a bit of discussion but now it's really getting popular so there's some tweets on screen that you could have read through. So we've put it into a table and used the Irish League teams to fill up the higher level championship because I think that balances out quite well for an 18 team premiership. So I'm going to have that in the background as well, some gameplay so you have something to watch whilst I describe my thoughts and opinions on the situation. So I would go with an 18 team premiership, that's my view, uh, I've tweeted about it a few times and also as well as a TV deal but I might talk about it at the end if we still have some time. So I go with 18 over 16 and 12, you know, the 12 team does work, you know, we get the split, you get the four derbies, the sky's happy, but the way i do it is 18 teams, so there'll be less games in the league However, if Sky are very, you know, wanting to push towards the four derby matches, I think you just add a SPFL Super Cup, kind of similar to the Spanish Super Cup. We'd add the Scottish Super Cup, make it two legs between first and second place, so it's going to be Celtic and Rangers. You give the they two games to Sky, they're hopefully they're happy, and we get the 18 team league. That that you know, best case scenario. Even better case scenario, we cut Sky out of it and we get our own subscription, which, you know, I'm not going to talk too much about, but I think it would work better than what the current thing is, and I think most people would pay £10 a month to watch all the SPFL games instead of Sky showing one game a week. Uh, so, yeah, so I'd go with the 18 team. It's proven to work, as we've seen in the Bundesliga. I think it works really well, but I'd also restructure the other leagues. So you may be wondering, you know, if you're putting 18 teams in the Premiership and there's only 42 SPFL clubs, how else would you restructure the whole of the SPFL? Because, you know, there will not be too many teams left once you do that. And I understand that if that's what you're thinking at this moment in time, you know, 42 clubs, 18 in the Premiership, that's very unbalanced. So what I'd do is bring up Highland and Lowland League sides, the best, and fill whatever gaps left. Because what I'd do is an 18-team Premiership, a 12 team championship, so the championship would take a similar model to what the current Premiership is, however there would be multiple promotions, multiple relegations from the Premiership, it's very similar to the Bundesliga model, and that's what I'd do, so two teams up, two teams down, however there would still be a playoff for a possible third team to go up and down, so that's the way I'd do it, same as the Bundesliga, works pretty well in my opinion. And then League 1 and League 2, you know, maybe the teams aren't going to be as great straight away, but I don't think the gap's that big between the Lowland League and League 2 at the moment anyways. I don't think it's... There's a gap, there's a certain bit of quality, but I, you know we've seen teams like Kelly come up. Uh, you know, Edinburgh who's done quite well, you know, maybe it took them a while to get promoted, but they never looked like they were going to get relegated. Um, you know, we've had teams do well, Cove Rangers, etc. So, you know, the gap isn't too big. Some teams will just, you know, be good enough. So I'd do 18 team Premiership, 12 team Championship, 10 teams League 1 and League 2 with Highland League and Lowland League filling it up. Keep the B teams in the Lowland League and the Highland League because Aberdeen's apparently getting a team. They can stay there and try and help build up attendances of the new teams that would be getting promoted to the 5th tier. And that's how I'd sort of try and fix it. It won't be great straight away. You know, the quality, you know, Inverness for example even though they're a Scottish Cup final, they're not the same quality over a league campaign as, you know, your Hearts, your Hibs, your, even your Dundee United have had a bad season this season. So, there is certain things that need to be worked on, and also I'd want to change, whilst we're on the point of restructuring the SPFL, I'd also want to restructure the promotion before we end off this video. I, I think the fact that you can win the Highland and Lowland League and not being guaranteed promotion, I want two up, two down in League Two. So, you know, you win your Highland League, you go in. You win your own league, you go in. Bottom two of League Two. So there's eight teams, you know, that are safe. You know, it, it, it means you can't just be terrible all season, being, as long as you win the playoff against the Lowland and Highland League winner, you're fine. So, yeah, that is my thoughts. As you can see in the background, we now have the end of the season results. Hibs finishing mid-table, Motherwell finishing 7th, Kilmarnock 6th, Rangers 5th, that was a huge shock, they lost quite a lot of games, they were a lot lower but they were on a winning run towards the end, and Celtic won it of course, so thank you for watching, goodbye.